bounce over to the questions. All right, so top secret is, uh, there's a lot this week. There's a lot. Okay, so first up, um, we showed off two new products, and then uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do that video, and then we're gonna show some stills of the uh, pink um, keyboard, board. And, KB2040. And then, yeah, so I'll see you on the other side of this, and we're gonna do a couple other things. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Okay, there's a couple products I'm testing out here at once. Uh, two new fab new products this week. So I've got this uh, really cute, about like one inch uh, diagonal 128 by 128 monochrome OLED. Yeah, it looks flickery, but of course in person it doesn't. Yep. And um, this is plugged into the new Feather ESP32 S2 with PS RAM. Um, and I'm just testing out the i 2 c connection. It's got a stomach QT that's vertical, popping right off the top here. Battery power uh, with Wi-Fi and ESP32 S2, so it's Arduino and CircuitPython. And um, this version also has a little sensor, the BME 280, one of my favorite temperature, humidity, barometric pressure sensors um, on the board. This is going to be a variant of this feather. Um, not all feathers will come with it because it's a little more expensive that way. Um, but you can see it's kind of nice. It's displaying temperature, pressure, humidity, and uh, the battery voltage and percentage uh, off this feather. Nice demo. All right, lady, what is this? Um, okay, this is a new design for a... Um, four LED arcade I squared C breakout. So um, it's got plugs for um, connecting our you know quick connects to um, LED arcade buttons. These are buttons that are you know they're switches, but they also have um, an LED element in them. And uh, it's over stem IQT, and there's a little boost converter, so you can you know use it with five volt. Um, uh, uh, LED buttons because some of them have the two versus two LEDs in series, to like two volts each, so it's you need, you need a five volt power supply. Um, and this is over um, STEM IQT, so hopefully coming soon. I like to um, get more of those like user uh, user interface STEM IQT boards out. Okay, and then part of our keyboards. Where's my pig? Um, There's a pig. Project we're doing. So uh, you assembled one. We did a time lapse with a little bit of music. I'm going to show that, and then we'll we'll go to the board itself. What's cool is that wasn't a time lapse. That was actually how fast Lamar moves. Zoom, so zoom, 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 zoom. This is the board. Um, it's a keyboard, and we want to make the best keyboard Pro Micro board. Um, we have some uh, pinout stuff that we have, and uh, do you want to talk a little bit about what this board is? Yeah. So this is designed for you know we went, we did a lot of work with the macro pad on getting really good HID keyboard matrix scanning and and keyboard um, interrupt support into um, Circuit Python. And uh, people really like making keyboards with the RP2040 and the Pico. We wanted a board that people could use with existing designs. A lot of existing keyboard projects um, use a Pro Micro, which is a 32U4 based pinout. Um, so we kind of looked at the 32U4, we looked at the Elite C and the Pro Micro, we looked at SparkFun's RP2040 board, and we're like, what would be a really good Circuit Python? Um, development boards for people who want to do Circuit Python HID keyboards. Um, right now, there isn't. Um, QMK support for the RP2040. I did see there's a there's an issue, but like you know, I I, I don't know when it's going to happen. However, Circuit Python keyboard support's really good, and there's QMK, which is a Circuit Python port of, of sorry, there's KMK, the Circuit Python port of QMK. Um, if you want to uh, use an existing like structure system, and I think also with our concurrency stuff they're working on, uh, it'll be better and better for people who want to do keyboard projects with the RP2040. So um, given we're doing all this keyboard stuff, I thought oh, let's throw in um, a keyboard design 
Um, and uh, I think one of the things that I did, which is kind of neat, is um, I added the uh, jumper on the bottom for USB power to five volts. That's kind of like from the Elite C. And I liked uh, bringing out the D plus and D minus pads because I think there's a lot of times where you're like, the USB port is not in the right place um, and you want to like get that data elsewhere. And so um, if you, you know, it has a, a USB type C port. If you don't want to use that port, you can always uh, wire up a port elsewhere. Okay, and then uh, we've been posting these on the socials. We've got pink feathers. Yes, so you're probably wondering what's this all about? Um, this is going to be a special thing that's coming out in a couple of weeks. So they're not available yet. Uh, we're going to fabricate them and test them. Um, and we're going to do a special event with these uh, pink feathers. We made a thousand of them. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, could be some sort of giveaway type thing. Who uh, with knows? With pink feathers. You've got to stay tuned. You have plenty of time to um, dye your hair pink. And then last up, uh, here's a preview of a new board we're working on. All right, Lady what is this? Hey, I put together another prototype today. This is the Feather ESP32 S2 with a TFT on top. So it's like you can plug into a breadboard, and this is the um, top side with a TFT SMQT connector here. You can like plug stuff into, like pluggy pluggy. Battery, uh, the boot and reset buttons, uh, USB, NeoPixel, and LEDs. And on the bottom is where you see the ESP32 S2 Mini. Um, NR4, basically it's got built-in 4 megabytes of flash, 2 megabytes of PS RAM, um, battery monitor, I installed a BME 280, got all the power stuff, uh, and some nice labels, but basically it's just kind of a, a feather shape and size, but it's got a 240 by 135 uh, color TFT on the top, and uh, what's nice is that it fits perfectly and still has clearance for the antenna, so the antenna isn't blocked. Isn't that nice? Cool. In the store soon. Anything else you want to say about that board? It's not out yet. Don't ask. That <laughs> is Top Seeker for the week.